Okay, this is a video to show my starling trap and uh, I'll include the information from where I got the design uh, in a separate video. But you can see that this is a piece of regular PVC. It is not Schedule 40. It is a lighter weight. And then this is the, this is the lower portion of the trap. Here's a door that I made so you can open it up, reach in, and get the birds out. And then this is a toilet flange that fits this PVC. All uh, goes like that. And of course the flange goes inside the PVC. Um, so that's, and then you can see I think in retrospect what I might have done is figured out a way to put the door in the side or to make the bottom door bigger. Um, okay, now I'm going to go over to the part that's mounted that's still on the fence. Okay, now there's the upper section. You can see the elbow and the PVC will fit up inside of it. And then you can see the hole that I cut and put a screen over it. That hole is so that when they get inside, when they're, when they're trapped and they're inside, they can see daylight out the side hole and they will head for the daylight. As soon as they get into that elbow, the mechanism uh, returns to its original position and they are locked. Uh, in into this elbow and then of course they just immediately uh, slide down the elbow uh, the PVC and into the trap at the bottom what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the I'm going to take this off the fence and open it up so that you can see the mechanism inside uh, the trap is pretty rough. It's been up here about five years and I made it out of plywood and it's not uh, marine plywood so uh, even with the paint it just didn't didn't last forever. So um, I'm going to pause it now and uh, get my drill and open it up. Before I before I take it up take it apart uh, I had two screws, uh, one here and one here, securing the top, and then there's two on the other side that I'm going to have to get out. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it down, but I wanted to show you the mechanism, and uh, I'm not sure how good this video is going to come out because the sun is so bright, but anyway, uh, you can see I've got it uh, done in such a way so that it really comes comes up fast uh, to hit the, the, the top and uh, return to a trap position. Uh, inside, well, I'll just go ahead and take this down and then we'll look at it on the ground. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little closer look. Here's the exit hole. And... Uh, or the daylight hole actually and then you can see you know the when the can is in the up position it's it's like this and uh, what I did is I even went to Hobby Lobby and bought a few uh, plastic eggs a uh, little like doves eggs and I put some hay in here which weighted it down a little bit and then the little eggs so that when a starling would look in there and see the see the eggs he would immediately want to go in and then when he gets in the weight goes down the can goes down like that and you can see that while it's in that position uh, he's only got one place to go and that's out and then as soon as he gets out the can goes back up to this position right here and he is 
the only the only place he can come back in here uh, because the can will be down a little bit but he's going to want to go where the daylight is and he will follow the tube straight uh, straight down into the trap I'm going to show you a picture of the fulcrum mechanism I you know I just used I just used what I had around there's a piece of aluminum angle and uh, I screwed it I screwed it to the can uh, actually I bolted it <coughs> excuse me I bolted it with some nuts and bolts and then this uh, fulcrum mechanism uh, I'm not sure where I got these little plastic um, grommets but I wanted to use something that would give the oak uh, uh, they're nylon not plastic but I wanted to use something that would give it um, you know smooth action um, the outside dimensions of the box are going to vary uh, but depending on the thickness of the material you used I used half inch material and the inside dimension of the box as you can see is seven inches by 15 and a half inches and I will say this I've seen other designs for the similar uh, designs and some of them talk about using a plastic milk jug or a vinegar uh, container because it's round but I would really recommend against that now this can is a lot more durable and um, so that's just you know my opinion um, also the depth of the trap is nine nine and a quarter inches now these are all inside dimensions as you can see um, I'm sure you can figure this all out for yourself but for the top uh, I use a piece of half inch plywood I uh, put these in place so that the top could be screwed down uh, from the from the outside and then I had a roll of aluminum flashing uh, laying around and so I wrapped the top with the aluminum flashing so that's you know that's what it looked like when it was up on the fence the length of the tube is going to vary uh, depending upon the height of the fence mine is uh, 52 inches and then I made my trap uh, uh, you can see it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half and I don't think that's really critical but one thing you want to pay attention to if you're gonna hang this on a fence I'll show you my fence uh, you saw it a minute ago uh, it's got a two by I think it's a two by six on top so when you put when you put this all together you want to be sure that this is close enough to the edge that this will be up against the fence so that you can secure it and what I did was I used a couple of hooks s hooks to hang this on the fence and it gave me enough slack um, in here that I could put it in place and then drop it down on the S hooks and it would this the fence would support the trap and then when I wanted to take it it would give me enough slack that I could pick it up release the S hooks and um, and drop this down because uh, sometimes you may need to clean out a dead bird or something so I just wanted to have that option a uh, couple of other things that I wanted to show I'm not sure how critical it is but uh, you can see that here I have I have uh, less I would say less than a quarter inch of tolerance um, and uh, let me see let me show you a couple of other things I think these were included in the original drawing that I got the center of that hole is f four and a quarter inches uh, 
four and a quarter inches. Uh, how, let's see, where's my lens? Okay, four and a quarter inches from the outside edge. And uh, the center of it is uh, one and three quarter inches off of the shelf. And the shelf is three and a quarter inches from the top edge. I don't remember how much of this was specified, but then on the back side, well, you can't see the exit hole, and the exit hole just needs to be down at the bottom. Um, looks like mine was right on the bottom, and so, but in a position so that it is centered on the can when the can goes down. I don't know if this is going to help or not, but um, my my pivot screw was six inches from the outside from the outside edge to the center of the fulcrum, and looks like the fulcrum was about sorry about that. About three and a quarter inches. Well, yeah, that's three, three and a, three, three and a quarter inches down. Uh, dimensions of the fulcrum, and I think that was something that was specified in the in the drawing. Uh, let me take it apart. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let me shrink the size it's already shrunk okay uh, the width of the of the pivot point is six and three quarter six and about six and three quarter and the box is seven inches inside so that left three eighths of an inch on each end and I used I had a bunch of this oak material sitting around so what I did before uh, I uh, chamfered the corners is I drew an X from corner to corner and then uh, drilled uh, drilled the hole on the center and then I chamfered it down and I used machine screws instead of wood screws so that it would pivot easily um, on the on the oak uh, fulcrum the balance beam is uh, eight and a half inches long and uh, this material here is basically three three quarter by three quarter which I don't think that really matters as you can see I underslung the balance beam and I drilled a hole here um, so I think uh, that should about do it.